You want some Goldie? Here you go. Here you go, kitty. Spot, you want some too? There you go. Hmm, that looks good. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, hey everybody. It's Miss Sally. Welcome to Mini Mo Online. I was just sharing some of my snack with some of my friends here. You know, in our story today, it's about a boy who not only shares his snack, he gives his snack away so Jesus can use it to do something really cool. So we've been learning about kids in the Bible and how they can be used by God just like everybody else. So I have some hand motions we've been working on. I want to see if you can remember them. You can be used by God. All right, one more time. You can be used by God. So I want to read the story in the Bible. This story is in the book of Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. And I'm going to read it in the book of John, and it comes in chapter 6. So Jesus has just healed a bunch of people and taken care of a bunch of people, and he's kind of tired. So he goes up to a mountain to take a little break, but then this is what happens. So when Jesus looked up and noticed a huge crowd coming towards him, he asked Philip, where will we buy bread so these people can eat? He asked this to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, 200 denarii worth of bread wouldn't be enough for them to have just a little bit. So a denarii is about a day's work of wages. So it would take almost a year to feed this many people. Philip's like, Jesus, come on, man. You know we don't have any food. There's no grocery stores. There's no McDonald's. We don't, I mean, what are we going to do? These guys are hungry. They've been following us. They want to see Jesus. They want to see what Jesus can do. And they don't have anything to give them. But wait, here we go. One of the disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, there's a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what is that for so many people? So, here we go. This is where we are. There's a little boy and he has five barley loaves and two fish. It's kind of like guys having a happy meal. He kind of is having, a, he has a happy meal and he is going to eat it. This is what he had planned on eating for today. And let me show you what he had. He has in his happy meal, five loaves of bread and two little fish. So there are 5,000 people. That's about, if you took your elementary school, everybody that works there and everybody that goes there, and you were trying to feed 10 elementary schools just this amount of food. Do you think that's going to go very far? I don't know about you, but when I am really, really hungry, one half meal just isn't even enough for me, let alone 5,000 people. But this little boy took his food and gave it to Jesus. Jesus prays over it, and he does something really cool. So let's just pretend like this is his food. And he gives it to Jesus. And Jesus prays over it, and he makes more food. He multiplies this food out to where every single person gets to eat until their tummies are so full they feel like they're going to explode. And then there's also food left over. So let's see if we can multiply something. Are you ready? Pay attention. Here we go. Oh, it's multiplying. Look at it. It's going everywhere. This is what Jesus did. He took this little bit amount of food and the little boy gave it to Jesus and Jesus prayed over it and broke it off and he made so much more food for everybody to eat. So cool, guys. This little boy only had a little bit of something and he gave it to Jesus and Jesus did something amazing with it. He created a miracle out of it. So it doesn't matter how much you have or how little you have. If you give it to God, God can do really awesome things with it. Just like this little boy. He thought he was going to eat just for himself, but he gave his food to Jesus and he got to sit back and watch Jesus do something miraculous, do something incredible with just the little bit that that little boy had. So what I want you to remember, no matter how much you have or how little you have, if you give it to Jesus, Jesus can do incredible things with it because you can be used by God just like this little boy. And I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next week. I don't know about you, but I'm going to have some fun playing in this. <laughs>